And this morning, those two back-to-back -back mass shootings in California that left 18 dead is making the push for gun control here in Connecticut even more urgent. Let's head out to Channel 3. Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones, who is live right outside the state capitol building to break down the plan for change that some lawmakers are calling on. Marcy? Good morning. Well, it's January 25th and only four weeks into the new year, we've had more mass shootings than we have days in 2023. And let that number sink in. According to the Gun Violence Archive in 2023, the U.S. has seen 39 mass shootings with more than 60 fatalities. That's why lawmakers say we can't afford to wait any longer to make changes to current gun laws. Earlier this week, Governor Ned Lamont announced his package of proposals pushing for new gun safety legislation, including investing $2.5 million in community violence intervention programs, banning the open carrying of firearms in public, limiting handgun purchases to one per month and updating the state's ban on unregistered ghost guns to stop their illegal flow. Tuesday night, many Connecticut residents with roots in the Asian American and Pacific Island communities attended a vigil in Hartford to honor the mass shooting victims. Let us remember the victims and their families. Gun violence is, is something that uh, I think we need to continue that conversation. Mental illness and providing that service to to a wider range of uh, to the community um, have uh, translators to explain what this is because it it becomes almost a stigma to to have that and it has to come out of the closet if you'd like more information on ways to join in these types of conversations, head on over to our Channel 3 app where we put up some links to do so. Reporting live in Hartford, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right. Thanks, Marcy.